What is going on, Zebra Sexuals? Black Squad Zebra here with another Pokemon X and Y battle. I almost keep saying black and white too for black and white for some reason. But regardless, this is another Pokemon X and Y Wi-Fi battle. This one is going to be against Ruscuts. He does not have a YouTube channel yet, but uh, he does do uh, Twitch streams. I was uh, just going around uh, Twitch looking for just like Pokemon streams to watch, and uh, his was up, and uh, he was accepting battles. So there will be a link to his Twitch account. So make sure you go check that out. Uh, give him a follow. Really cool guy. He always uh, he's been streaming uh, probably about the past couple of days, but uh, you know. Always up for some Wi-Fi battles. Um, we'll take a look. Well, we won't really take a look at his team because I kind of just kind of skip it and just hit play. But uh, he's got uh, Greninja, Aegislash, Clotzer, Crustle, Dragonite, and uh, Gengar. So we both have Gengar, Mega Gengar, and I'm actually using my D-Knight for the first time. It's a Dragon Dance, Dragon Claw, Earthquake, Roost set with multi-scale, you know, that whole thing. So I'm going to lead off Wong Fei Hong. I wasn't sure what he was going to lead off with, but... Uh, he leads off with Gengar. I can't really touch Gengar, but I do have the Stone Edge, so I figured I could probably take a Shadow Ball and hit him with the Stone Edge. But then I kind of, you know, forget that, you know, oh no, oh no, Gengar gets Dazzling Gleam. I totally space on that, space out on that every goddamn time. Every time I'm like, oh, I can take a hit and hit it with that. Oh nope, that thing has Dazzling Gleam, and I die. So. Throw away my mind shot right off the bat. That's a great way to start the match off. So uh, I'm going to go into my own Gengar, threaten it out with its uh, possible speed tie and uh, mega form because uh, the uh, I think the speed is the only one that takes effect and I can still hit it with the Shadow Ball. So that that's pretty cool. So I'm going to go ahead and transform into Mega Gengar, go for the Shadow Ball, hit the Greninja. Uh, it's going to take it really well considering it is resisted. So fearing a possible Water Shuriken or it... You know, I didn't. I, I could have gone for Thunderbolt, but really, I figured the best thing for me to do is go into Clotzer to take the Water Shuriken, just because of Clotzer's natural bulk. So I'm gonna take the Water Shuriken pretty well, actually. I'm just gonna take like all like. I think he ends up. No, he only ends up getting two t two hits. But you know, the amount of damage that that was doing is like I can take that forever. So he's gonna go ahead and protein and go for the extra sensor aids just to you know get some damage on me. I think. Uh, I think he'll, the only other move I think he has is like Ice Beam and. Uh, can't remember what the other one, but all of them not really going to do much to Kloitzer. And I think I just go for the Dragon Pulse, think, thinking that he might switch into his D Knight, maybe just to take any hit and probably threaten me out with an, uh, an Outrage or something. But uh, in comes in um, Gengar. I figured I have the Assault Vest on. I'm an Assault Vest Kloiter, uh, Kloitzer. I was like, come on, you can take the Thunderbolt and just wreck him with the Dark Pulse. But it turns out not to be the case, and uh, I'm going to end up dying. But I figured, you know, he's got Gengar in. Uh, Gengar, he does have Dazzling Gleam, but considering that I do have Multi-Scale, I should be able to get up 1 GD and outspeed and take him out with a Dragon Claw, but uh, he's going to end up switching into Aegis Shield, or Aegis Slash, and I kind of figured, okay, he's either going to King Shield or do something, so I figured I might as well just go for a Dragon Dance, but then I kind of, I, I kind of spaced out on the fact that I think King Shield does it affect Earthquake because it is a non-contact move, I believe that's how it works, but uh, he's going to go ahead and Sword Dance on my prediction of him going for the King Shield, so now I decide to go for Earthquake, it's a plus two Earthquake on the Age of, Sh uh, Age of Slash, and it almost, almost quite takes it out, I don't have enough probably invested in attack, I, I have very little invested in attack, I'm more in speed and HP, but uh, you know, that probably came back to bite me, but he's going to be able to uh, take it with the uh, leftovers and go ahead and stance change and go for the uh, shadow sneak to go ahead and break my multi-scale, uh, that way something that he brings in next turn can possibly revenge kill my Dragonite, but uh, I'm going to be able to take his Age of Shield, Age of Slash out, oh my god, Age of Shield, Age of Slash, whatever. King Shield, Sword Stance, all that shenanigans. Swords and Shields, that's what's going on. So, he's going to go ahead and bring in his Gengar. My multi-scale is broken, but uh, he forgot that Gengar doesn't have Levitate, and he knows that I'll outspeed, so, uh, you know, Earthquake and Dragon Claw are kind of a thing. So, I'm just going to go for the Dragon Claw, and uh, he's going to go ahead and bring in his defensive thing, or, well, it's Crustle, but I don't think he's running the defensive area variant, but Crustle is the most bulkiest poke that he has, most bulkiest poke, that makes total fucking sense, Zebra. It's the bulkiest thing that he probably has on his team. So, 
I'm gonna go ahead and go for the roost, fearing maybe he'll go for like a uh, like rock blast or something that way and get rid of my flying type and gain HP back and take the uh, rock blast relatively well. But he ends up going for like a uh, mid game rocks and I'm gonna be able to take him out with earthquake and still have my multi scale intact, which is great. And now he's gonna go ahead and bring in his own dragonite and I'm gonna go ahead and hit him with a plus two dragon claw. But I'm gonna miss out on the KO by another bit of like small line of HP. So he's gonna be able to outrage me and that is just gonna obliterate me because uh, I missed on the roost I missed my multi scale by 3 HP I was at 90 195 compared to my 198 so outrage is just gonna utter demolish me so that's gonna be the death of my dragon I just because I didn't have that little bit of a uh, multi scale uh, or a little bit of HE HP to get my multi scale intact so that's gonna end up taking out but that's fine since he wasn't able to set up any dragon dances himself I'm able to bring in my own Gengar hit him with a shadow ball take him out and now we come down to Gengar versus Gengar the whole thing that we were trying to do at the beginning or like second turn of the match to see who would win the speed, speed tie I win because I'm probably running tip I have timid max 31 so I'm not sure if his had the same I know he might have been running timid but I don't know if he had 31 IVs or whatever or maybe I just won the speed tie and his last Pokemon is going to be Zoidberg he does have the aqua jet but he just figured you know not go for the aqua jet and I'm going to be able to take him out with a thunderbolt and that will end up being the match so great game Ruzaki or Ruzkus whatever you like to go by there will be a link to his Twitch channel so make sure you go check that out if you're looking for streams to go find on uh, for Pokemon X and Y Twitch is a great place to go find you know Wi-Fi battles because people are always streaming so I know quite a few people like Magnitude, Gubstacular, uh, Kazo War uh, are all streaming, and then there's also a bunch of other people that I really don't know that are all streaming Pokemon X and Y, and most of them are either taking battles during the stream and are, are EV training. So I'm pretty sure you can find battles pretty much everywhere because everyone wants to exchange French codes. So that'll be it for me, guys. I will catch you Zebra Sexuals later. Cheers!